top of the morning to you, and that's my sad attempt at Irish accent. Today, of course, is a happy Bats Day, yes, and to all those that have started drinking their cups of tea, I hope you just steady it on throughout the day. You can hear the Irish music now, but we do have a special performance later on from Molly Remedy. The girls are very busy today, as you can imagine those Irish um, shine lasses. Girls, whatever, Irish girls, they're busy today around about, but they've done a special performance just for you. Now, talking about performances, next week, Tuesday, do you have little people in your world? They could be very excited because Almo's heading town. Yes, Tuesday, the 24th of March. Almo's there he is with all his friends from Sesame Street, and we have a family pass to give away to this special, special performance. And all you need to do is just call through to 3777 or go to our Facebook page and leave your details. A very special night indeed. This weekend, though, just bringing things down to a very practical way, is that we have the home show happening out at Horncastle Arena this weekend, and we have some passes to give to you for that as well. If you've never been, it's like a one-stop shop. Everything under one roof, and all those persons there that you can ask questions about that maybe you're a little bit shy to ask normally. So you could win those and just calling through 3777033, or again, just going to our Facebook page. But please, please leave your details of how we can call contact you so we definitely want to get those tickets back to you now on today's show yes it is st patrick's day but we have another very very special performance not of the irish persuasion but alvis yes ben portsmouth i had the privilege of meeting him now he's one of the world's best Elvis impersonators and he will be performing this Thursday at the beautiful Isaac Theatre Royal the 19th and there is only and I mean this sincerely only a couple of tickets left he is breathtaking amazing amazing and you can we'll find out how you can win some tickets later on as well so you keep on watching for that and as well as that on the Elvis theme I had the great pleasure of meeting <coughs> excuse me Avalon Gold. Now she is a huge Elvis fan and we went to her home and saw some of the wonderful memorabilia that she has around there. She was such a sweetie and a big shout out to Avalon. But first up, yes, we get a little bit sensible with mints. How can we make mints exciting? Well, thanks to Nicola Freya, we're out on location with Nourish. One really quick family meal that is really easy to make is nachos and we make it at home in our own sort of disposable trays per portion which makes it even easier and no dishes to clean up. So I'm just going to use a hand sanitizer for this one because I'm going to use my hands for quite a bit of it. Uh, so a bit of a squeeze of that. Now what I've got here is a bolognese mixture. And I make this up in bulk and freeze it in bags that will serve our family. And it's really great to just have that in there because you can make so many different things with a bolognese mix. So that's just mince, onions, and um, any other um, flavours that you like to add, like garlic and ginger, and a bit of tomatoes in there as well. So what I've done is just heated that up a little bit. We're just going to put some corn chips in the bottom of each person's tray and I just layer those up with a, a bit of mince and then a bit of cheese on the top and with this mince mixture it's great because you can grate vegetables into that if you want to add those for the family you can add a salad with this if you wanted to do it that way or um, things like carrots, courgettes, that sort of thing, just get grated into this mix really nicely. And um, for those who don't really want vegetables in it, it's actually really hard to tell they're even in there. So just going to pop a bit more mince on the top. And you just spread that out as much as you want or just have it down the middle, however people like it. A bit more cheese on the top and we're just going to pop that in the oven. And while that's in there, I'll make some guacamole. So just pop that in the oven now. Right, so with my guacamole here, I have some nice ripe avocado. I've just got three halves in there already and if you just crisscross it like this, it's extra easy to come out of the uh, skin like that. 
This comes out really nice and cleanly. Now, the other ingredients I'm going to pop in here is my lemon. And my, I picked a lemon purposely that has quite a hard skin on, it, skin on it because it seems to really be juicy and the juice comes out nicely then. So some lovely lemon juice in there. A little bit of Tabasco. Just a touch there. A wee bit of garlic. You can have garlic out of a jar or garlic that you've chopped up yourself. A bit of salt and pepper. And then just some spring onions as well. And I just mix this up in this way. You can have it as chunky or as creamy as you like. You can actually put it in the blender if you like it really lovely and creamy. I actually like it a little bit, a little bit uh, chunky. Um, I absolutely love avocados and it's quite a nice way to have it with a bit mash, mashed up or a little bit just chunky in there as well. All right, that smells absolutely delicious. All right, so I'm just going to put that to the side there and we're just going to wait for a couple of minutes and our um, nachos will be ready and we'll take them out of the oven and serve them in a second. So there we've got the cooked nachos with that lovely melted cheese on the top and the chips stay lovely and crunchy so that's a really a really nice combination there. Now I'm just going to put this beautiful guacamole on the top and that colour looks really amazing with the green of that and just with that little chunkiness as well. The other thing you can put on there is a little bit of tomato or even a little bit of chopped vegetables because um, the other thing that's nice to do is to dip those vegetables into the guacamole and into the mince mixture as well. So we serve that up at home, everyone has their own tray and it's a really lovely way to have nachos um, and once you're done, no dishes. Yummo, didn't that look good? Nachos are so yummy, especially on a cold day like today. Well, last week, I, as I said, I did have the privilege of getting out and about, and I went to the wonderful home of Avalon Gold. Now, she apparently, according to the Alvis Club of New Zealand, has the biggest collection of Alvis memorabilia. So she welcomed our home to Canterbury Live. Hi Avalon, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful home. Come in to my Christmas. <laughs> Isn't it fab? My goodness. Avalon, thank you for bringing Canterbury Live into your home, into your beautiful Graceland. You are a big fan of Elvis, obviously. Yes, I am. Let's have a look over this first cabinet. This is quite amazing. Where do all the pieces come from? Well, some are bought here, some in Australia, and some when I went to Graceland. So you've been to Graceland? Yes, I have. Explain to us what it is actually like being there as we move around and have a look. Well, part I went on a tour mm -hmm. there for the 20th anniversary, and um, part of the tour was a, tr was a tour through Graceland's. And uh, I didn't believe it the first time, so I had to go back and have another look. <laughs> but you know what I'm looking though, I'm sorry, I'm very distracting. Look at Mr. Alvis Aaron Presley over here. Isn't that a gorgeous picture of him there? Well, that is an exact display of, of Graceland's. Graceland's. And the pink Cadillac at the front, is that right? Yeah. <gasps> And it's quite stunning, isn't it, really? Yes. Um, over here, though, let's look at this, this freestanding. Where did, where did he come from? Well, I, his friend over here, I got one in the shop. Yeah. One of the second-hand shops here. <gasps> 
And then my sister rang me from Dunedin to say she'd found one in Dunedin. Oh, what a good sister. And she would get it for me How if I curious. sent her the money. Oh, well, that's a great sister, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And up on the wall here as well, I see you've got this and gone. You've got a few crocs around as well. i tell you what, just quietly, that was one of my favourite concerts with him. This was just after he got back from the from the army, um, wasn't it? Army. Yes. Yeah, it was the first TV show he did, wasn't it? In that fabulous yes. leather. I've got a lot of albums, a lot of um, albums down there. Um, and that would be one yes. of your favourite yes. albums. Yeah, yes. I think so as well. But hey, let's move into your bedroom because. Hello, Avalon. You yes. get to sleep with Elvis every night, just quietly. Yes. What I tell everybody over in the home, or yes. everybody that comes in here, that Elvis didn't die. <laughs> he's here every night. Well, he's on my bed, but <laughs> he, he's un, actually is under my bed oh, during the day. Oh my goodness! And at night time, he gets in it. <laughs> You're a bit naughty, aren't you? Yes. But, but the love that you have for him, obviously it's around this room. You don't, you've got a garage, but there's no car in it, Avalon. No, what, there isn't room for a garage. No, why car. is it we better go into that garage right now, shall we? Yes. Let's head okay. there now. <laughs> Mighty ho, so it's like a treasure trove, isn't it, Avalon? Wow. Look at this. Let's, let's start over here. Look at that. It's his blue suede shoes. Is it salt and pepper it's shakers? Sal salt and pepper. Wow. They are too cool for words. So the Elvis blue suede shoes, salt and pepper. Look at that. That's too cool. Only come out on special occasions, I bet. Yes. Tell us, Avalon, why do you admire Elvis so much. Oh. What, is, what was it about him oh, that was so special? Just something. To, I don't know. He had that special. I don't know that. That grin. That the charisma. Grin. The charisma. I've got my favourite photo in there. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but um, he had this cheeky smile. And uh, he even, when he sang, he had that cheeky smile mm. that, um, you know, if you could get hold of him, you could, I could eat him. <laughs> you could spread him on your toast to yeah. have him for breakfast. Yeah. But I think you're right, though, because he reached so many different generations, didn't he, with his yeah. music. And he still is, which yeah. is quite astounding. Avalon, a big thank you to my lovely for opening up your door to us. You have a beautiful home. And I think it's just wonderful that we can see this gorgeous man. And you can see him every day. And you know what? He hasn't left the building, has he? Mm. He's in your bed. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, no one will ever take him away from me. Good on you, Avalon. You have yes. a great week and you enjoy the concert. Yes, I will. Good on yes, you. I will. <laughs> Cheers. Yes. Yes, and Avalon will be there this Thursday to watch Ben Portsmouth, fantastic Elvis personator, who joins me after the break. Stay tuned.
And there he is. My oh. goodness. <laughs> Fall asleep there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so lovely you were singing along there to it. Welcome to Canterbury. Ben, it's your Thanks first having me. time to Canterbury, second yeah. time to New Zealand. Yeah, no, it's nice to be here in Christchurch, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you look, just, I know you're not in character as such, but mm. it is inimitable that you do have definitely the look oh, of the you. king. Thanks. Why? Why did you pick Elvis? Why or did, did he pick Elvis? you? Um, uh, my dad listened to Elvis in the car when I was a child, and uh, yeah, you know, it just captivated me, I suppose, you know, and uh, over time I just liked it so much and being a musician I would sit at home, play the guitar, work out the chords and stuff and think this is really amazing music. There's so much more to Elvis than just Hound Dog or mm. Blue Sweat Shoes, you know. Um, yeah, no, it just really grabbed me and uh, yeah, here I am in the end of the world in New Zealand. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> the end lucky. of the world and the start of it. But um, with Elvis, and we all know, he has a huge fan base. Mm. That must put a lot of pressure onto your onto yourself performing. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's really testament to his talent that I can come, you know, to somewhere, I suppose I, suppose I say remote as New Zealand, and I can stand there, pretend to be Elvis, and people pay and come to see. Mm. Um, so yeah, it just shows you how, how amazing he was, and still is, you know, good things never die, you know? No, exactly. So what can we experience coming along to a Ben Portsmouth <sighs> concert? Oh, my God. Interpreting the King, no pressure. Um, well, hopefully, yeah. I mean, you know, I try in this particular show. I'm doing majority of his eras, so like the 50s, some of the movie songs from the 60s. Then in 1968, he did he wore like the leather suit, you know, mm, he did 68 comeback. Yeah. yeah, he looked great. And mm. um, and then I finish off the second half with the 1970s like okay. sort of concert. So um, yeah, a mixture of everything, and I just hope people um, you know enjoy it at the end of the day, you know, like I do, you know. Well, it brings people. It makes someone smile. Mm. It's not a bad gig, is it really? Yeah, I'm very lucky to be able to do what I do, and uh, yeah, one of the nicest things is to make people happy. You know, it's great, and you know, I'm I'm happy what I do, and hopefully, yeah, they walk away happy too. And it comes and it comes um, ahead of it. Um, do you have any other musical um, idols apart from Elvis? Musical Alvis? idols. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I like everybody from Bach to you know Orbison, you know. So yeah, I, I like the blues. You know, that's what mm. I like. You know, I like I like black music, the blues. You know. Yeah. yeah. Is there any favourite performance of Elvis that sticks out for you? Is probably the one that you love favorite most. Favourite performance. Um, uh, American Trilogy. He did on mm. Love from Why. I like that. It's very passionate. And Unchained Melody. He did in 1977. Uh, CBS TV special. You know, that was very touching. Yeah. Does the line ever get blurred for fans between Elvis? And yourself, that they just get so emotionally involved mm. in the concert. Do you think? Well, I suppose it, it, you know, if if you love Elvis like I, like I do myself, it yeah, I suppose it is touching, isn't it? You know, mm. you're trying to recreate that moment in time and what happened to him. It's you know, it is sad, you know, because he died young. Mm. You know, he started taking drugs and stuff. So yeah, it is an emotional roller coaster. But um, yeah, you've just got to think of the you know how amazing he was and. Remember him at his peak. You know? Exactly. Well, the roller coaster will be happening this Thursday. Thank you, Ben. That's right. And we have 15 VIP double passes to give away to you, plus a signed program. Thank you, Ben. All you need to do is go to a Facebook page or call us on 3777033. Really simple. We will be announcing the winners this Friday, this Thursday, sorry. So get into it now. Good on you, Ben. It's happening this Thursday, Isaac Theatre Royal, and you can buy your tickets through Ticketek. And a big shout out to Crown Limousines for providing the King his vehicle for today. <laughs> yeah, Beautiful meeting you. with you. Pleasure. Stay with us after the break. Yes, it is St. Patrick's Day, so we will have a bit of an Irish jig for you. Grab a Guinness, or maybe an Irishman if you're lucky, because now we're doing an Irish jig with Molly's Remedy. Do 
Happy St. Patrick's Day to you, everyone. Tomorrow's show, we're joined by Phyllis Brown, talking city to surf and the football academy. Yes, the Canterbury Football Academy and a little bit of the Wild Food Fest. Have a very great day, St. Patrick's Day. Enjoy your Guinness. See you tomorrow.